Hey everyone, welcome back. In the previous uh, game I played against GM Castor with White, it was a Indian. And uh, yeah, now just before starting the recording, I accidentally uh, pressed uh, the, the three minute button and started the game. I was asking my opponent to abort and uh, yeah, he disagreed and then suddenly when he decided to agree he resigned. So I gained 8 rating points before even starting the recording and I didn't even intend to play uh, on the 3 minute pool. We're still on the quest uh, to cross 2500 in 5 minutes. So good for us. Let's quickly mention, uh, quickly mention what happened in the previous game until we start uh, the next uh, next one while uh, bidding for five minutes. So against Castor, Vasquez, uh, GM uh, Rodrigo Vasquez from Chile, I believe. We played the Zemish, which is a very uh, principled way to meet the King's Indian. He played a6. And we follow the main moves like this. Uh, I think it was queen d2 first. Queen d2. Yeah. yeah. I got a good position. And uh, feel free to check the video to, to learn more about this line. So we have Hernandez. Let's go with d4. And uh, play the main lines. So f g6. Let's play f3. Like we did in the previous game. Let's see where it lands us. Yeah. So far we're following the principal line. C6 isn't supposed to be very principled. Uh, I believe we should be able to just develop. Knight C3 would make sense. D5 I assume is his point. Yeah, now we should probably come up with something interesting. I guess e5 aiming to take from d5 next if he goes knight d7. Hmm. Yeah, now taking anyway makes sense. And then just finishing my development. Hmm. G3, bishop g2. Yeah, I don't really think black uh, has uh, fully equalized. I have more space, and uh, yeah, my position should be slightly better. Yeah. Now f4, d5 is kind of hanging. I guess if he takes, I have to, to decide what to do. Bishop d5 looks tempting, yeah, but now I'm in time to castle. And I think my position is, is good. Mm, I have to find a way to develop this bishop. So I'll try b3. Let's see where it lands us. I'm guessing bishop g4 is an idea for him, yeah. So let's ask him politely what he wants to do with this bishop. And now, yeah, if he takes, knight takes his first, but Nothing dramatic happened so far. So, our rating is 2450 exactly. And we are trying to cross 2500 before moving to a different uh, time control or to a different website. We'll see. I'd like to maybe conquer my goals on ICC reaching a high rating on 3 and 5 minute pulls before going to different sites. Yeah, my position should be better now, but how exactly? Let's develop this guy. The queen somewhere. Hmm, but here yeah, he is attacking this pawn, so to respond. And um, yeah. So rook c1 comes to mind next. And uh, then possibly queen d2. He's trying some uh, forcing measures 
I guess he can sense the danger in this position. Hmm. He's, I don't see a threat though. He probably wants to take, but it's not very, very difficult for me. Hmm. Let's go queen d2, just finish our development and see what happens next. If he takes, I consider to take with the g-pawn and also with the knight. Knight f4, fe, yeah, but I, I don't see how to, to proceed with this. So I'll just take with the pawn. Yeah. Mm. Wait politely to see what he wants. Uh, Rook c1. Yeah, now he wants to take on e5. He's pinning my f pawn. I guess I should move. Move my queen somewhere. I'm not sure. If I go queen d3, he goes bishop f5. I go queen somewhere. Maybe to f3. Attacking this pawn. Okay, let's see where it lands us. But then he can take on e5. It's a bit annoying. Where can I put my queen? Queen g3 maybe. Okay. The idea is that if rook g8, queen h4 is attacking the bishop on h6. Yeah, okay, so... Rook g6 come up with some nice idea. So he wants to double the rooks. Bishop f3 makes sense to me. Now if you can try some knight takes d4 related tactics, yeah this is also logical. And now have to come up with a good move. Okay let's just Try to relieve the, the tension on the g-file and see if he has an idea for later. Bishop e3 probably comes to mind. Somehow my pieces are not uh, as active as I hoped they would be. Okay. Yeah, I have to try to to be active here, otherwise uh, he will run over me. So knight f4 attacking the rook, and if he takes, then suddenly I'll be better again. So using forced measures to try to solve the problem. What can I do next? I guess I take here anyway, but. Rook c1, we take on e5, I have to move the king. Check. I'm not too sure. Where to put my pieces? Just two points for the exchange. I guess I just have to play faster. C7 is hanging in some lines. Mm. Okay. So this knight is under some pressure. The next move is probably 92. C7 is under some pressure as well. And then threatening group takes C7. Mm, I mean, be a piece up after this tactic. Currently, I'm in exchange for two pawns. So, yeah, rook C7 is a threat. Let's go here. I'm under some pressure, but these two guys are hanging F6 and C7. Bishop e5 comes to mind. 
And then I think I'll just jump with the knight somewhere. Hmm. So many options. It's not so easy. Let's just take this annoying bishop. Yes, bishop h4 coming. And uh, play here. Bishop b2 is an idea for next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Try to simplify. 32 seconds. Oh. Okay. Goodness, I think I blundered. Cool, I have to go here. Feels like I'm lost. 13 seconds left. Let's try to play as fast as possible. skills at the end, although it was very, very close. Um, yeah, let's have a quick over look at the game. So with the opening, I'm quite happy. I'll put the computer in the background. Um, yeah, so I upgraded to stock 7 like one of my viewers uh, suggested. H4. Oh, H4 is interesting. And uh, would have been more to the point. And now, yeah. I wasn't playing very convincingly. But I still had my uh, space advantage. And now G4 would have been the, the more principled move to play. Yeah, but and now G4 also. Okay, King H2 was a bit uh, too passive. Yeah, Knight F4 was actually interesting. So F E D E. Yeah, but my moves weren't so bad overall. So far, we're both playing decently. He managed to get an edge after I I didn't uh, play active enough. Yeah, now Rook G7 just better for Black. And in the game we got this interesting sacrifice, he has a, had the initiative for quite a while, and uh, yeah, it w there were lots of ups and downs, and uh, I guess the time pressure was uh, the most important factor of the game. Check. And um, Check. yeah, I wonder if I blundered anything, or if I play this, oh, knight f1, followed by queen d4, this is nice. Um, yeah. So in the time pressure, I think I played quite well, and uh, he decided to resign. He could have kept on fighting since I had 9 seconds, but yeah, this is already over. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this game, and uh, learned something from uh, this uh, experience. And if you want to learn some more, feel free to watch the next videos.